Today is April 20th, 2020, and I'm making this video for my granddaughter, Harper, and my grandson, Fletcher. It's been a couple weeks since we've had an opportunity to spend time together, and I just want you to know how much I miss you. Uh, I'm in my office in my house getting ready to watch a video, a training video. There's a program that my company has called Boomtown, and it uh, supposedly gives me leads. People that are interested in buying houses will contact me, but there's a lot of training that I have to do, and it's on the computer, video training, like you're doing, where you're going to school from home. I uh, just thought I would tell you a few things. It's uh, Monday morning. It's 10.45, 10.44 actually. Grammy just left the house. She went to the grocery store to buy a few things. She'll be back shortly. We are buying an invisible fence. What an invisible fence is, it's a, a fence that's actually underground. It's a wire that goes underground around the perimeter of our yard. And a very small electric current goes through it. And then what we will do is we'll put a special collar on our dog Flossie. That way when she gets close to the fence, it will make a vibrating or buzzing sound or possibly a high beeping sound to warn her not to go near the fence. If she touches the fence or gets real close to it, there'll be a, a little shock that she'll feel. So it's, it's a way for us to keep her in the yard, let her be in the yard and she won't leave the yard when uh, someone goes walking by or she sees another dog. She's growing up fast. She weighs about, I think, probably seven to eight pounds now, and she has a mind of her own. When we go outside, if she sees uh, Ronnie across the street, she wants to run over and spend time with him. If she sees other people walking by, she wants to run up to them. She's just very friendly, and we're afraid she'll run out of the yard and get run over by a car so we're we're buying this electric fence or actually i guess you would call it an invisible fence we had one for our other two dogs guster and susie when we first got them and uh, it worked really well it's a, a very overcast day today and it's uh, raining outside the man was supposed to come this morning to put in the invisible fence but he is uh, canceled for today because of the rain, and he's going to come tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to stop rocking now. I know that's probably irritating to watch this while I'm walking, rocking. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is uh, yesterday was a historical event for me. I got my second eagle while playing golf with Will. Actually, my first eagle was on Friday. I was playing on Friday, and the last hole, number 18, is a par five. That means if you can get it in the hole after hitting it five times, you get a par. It's one of the longest holes on the golf course. And um, last week, on Friday, I hit a very good driver, and then I hit a three wood, and uh, was about 25 yards off the green. I chipped it up on the green and it bounced two times and went in the hole for a three. If you get a five on the hole, that's a par. If you get a four, that's a birdie. And if you get a three, that is considered an eagle. And my entire lifetime, since I've been playing golf, that's the first eagle I got was this past Friday. Well, on Sunday, Will drove from Raleigh down to Greenville and met me at the golf course, and we played 18 holes. On the last hole, number 18, that same hole, I hit a really good drive, probably better than I hit on Friday. And then I hit a five wood, and the five wood went, bounced up on the green, and it landed about four feet from the hole. And I put it in for an eagle. So that was my second eagle. And the amazing thing is, on Friday, that's the first eagle I've gotten in my lifetime. And then the next time I go out and play on Sunday, I get another eagle on the same hole. So I was pretty excited about that. 
Unfortunately, when I got back to the house, I had lost the scorecard. So somehow, going from the golf course and putting my golf clubs in my car, um, the scorecard must have fallen on the ground and I lost it. So uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I still have the memory. And I was pretty happy that Will was there to witness it. The funny thing, another funny thing about this is about a month ago, I found a bright red orange golf ball, kind of like the golf balls that I gave you all. This was a, uh, a Callaway super soft golf ball, and it was bright red. The red was almost so red it was glowing. And I had found that ball about a month ago, and I put it in my golf bag, but I've never hit it, didn't use it. And then on Sunday, I was playing with Will on number number 11, on my second shot, I hit a very bad shot and it went into a river, a stream. And I did not have a retriever way to get it out. So I got that red golf ball and I thought, I'm gonna try this red golf ball out and just see how well it plays. Well, on the next hole, I hit a really good drive, hit my second shot on the green and two putted for a par. And then um, I played pretty well with that red ball. And that is the ball that I hit on number 18 and got the eagle on. So I was pretty happy with that. This is a, I'm just going to make this a short video just to see how this works out. And uh, if you guys like this, I might make another video with Grammy and we can uh, send it to you just to kind of stay in touch. So I'm uh, going to sign off here from Greenville, North Carolina. April 20th. It's a Monday, April 20th, 2020. And uh, I hope you all are doing well and doing your homework, doing your uh, schoolwork online on the computer. I know you miss all your friends and your classmates, but everybody's going through the same thing that we're going through. We want to stay home until this coronavirus goes away. And we probably won't be able to go back to school this year. Probably have to wait until August or September to go back to school with our classmates. I love you and I miss you. I miss seeing you and uh, hugging you and kissing you and I miss everything about you. So I just uh, hope you guys are doing well and just wanted to send this little video to you. Take care.